In Burkina Faso, a young army captain Ibrahim Traore is tasked with the responsibility to secure the country and get it ready for elections in 2024. Here the people say they feel safer and are happy with their leader. But outside the message is different. In this video, I show you Ouagadougou, the capital city of Burkina Faso like never seen before so you can see how vibrant and how people in the city go about their normal businesses. Before I tell you how rich the country Burkina Faso is, here are some of my first impressions of the capital city. Throughout my tour of the city, I did not see any military or police officers harassing civilians on the street. There is a high sense of security alertness among the people. One thing that impressed me the most is the fact that with all the sanctions and difficulties fighting insurgencies, Burkina Faso is still able to run a modern public transportation system. In my 48 hours stay in the city, I did not see a power outage for even a minute. I learned that constant power outages used to be a big problem in the country, but now there has been great improvement. Lastly, I must say Burkina B are very kind people. Despite security concerns, people in the city are still kind enough to offer lift in their bikes. There are no Uber or taxi apps operating in the city. According to the International Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative EITI, Burkina Faso is highly rich in mineral resources with abundant reserves of uranium and diamonds that are yet to be exploited. The country currently produces gold, zinc, copper, manganese, phosphate, and limestone in substantial quantities. However, it has been reported the extractive sector currently accounted for only 8% of government revenues, which leaves the question, where does the money go? It also means there is so much room for growth in the country. One of Burkina Faso's most valuable natural resources is gold. The country is among the top African gold producers and has attracted significant foreign investment in its mining sector. Gold mining contributes substantially to the national economy, providing employment opportunities and generating revenue through export. The presence of major mining companies and ongoing exploration activities indicates the importance of gold in Burkina Faso's economic landscape. Burkina Faso possesses significant reserves of limestone and phosphates, which are essential for the production of fertilizers and construction materials. These resources have the potential to stimulate the agricultural sector and promote infrastructure development. I am now heading to the city's busy business districts. Later in the video, I will show you the country's national monument in honor of the fallen heroes of Burkina Faso. The Burkina Faso government has taken steps to improve the business environment and attract investment. Initiatives include legal and regulatory reforms, incentives for foreign investors, and efforts to enhance transparency and governance. Notably is the rise of entrepreneurship with a growing number of startups and small businesses emerging. Burkina Faso's significant gold deposits have attracted foreign investment in the mining sector. The presence of other minerals, such as manganese and zinc, also presents opportunities for mineral extraction and processing. Burkina Faso's abundant sunlight and wind patterns make it suitable for renewable energy projects, particularly solar and wind power. Developing clean energy infrastructure can address energy challenges and create business opportunities. The need for improved infrastructure, including roads, energy supply, and telecommunications, creates openings for companies involved in construction, engineering, and related sectors.
The services sector, including banking, telecommunications, and tourism, has potential for growth as Burkina Faso's economy continues to develop. Ongoing security challenges, including the presence of extremist groups, can disrupt business activities and deter investment, particularly in rural areas. Inadequate infrastructure and energy supply can pose challenges for businesses, affecting their operations and competitiveness. Navigating bureaucratic processes and regulatory hurdles can be complex, potentially discouraging both local and foreign investors. Limited access to financing and credit can hinder the growth of businesses, particularly small and medium-sized enterprises (SMEs). Developing a skilled workforce and providing training opportunities are essential for business growth and economic development. While Burkina Faso's business scene presents opportunities for growth and development, it also faces challenges that need to be addressed for sustainable economic progress. As the country continues to work on improving its business environment, it offers a mix of potential rewards for those willing to navigate its complexities and contribute to its economic transformation. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please take a little time to like the video and subscribe to the channel.